Which one is greater? Your desire to succeed or your fear to fail? The requested topic by our friend Awal. And here it is. Coffee with C, can you talk about overcoming failure? What is failure anyway? It's just a word that a lot of people are scared of. It's also very subjective. How do you measure it? And what is your criteria? Comparing your progress to someone else's? I think the problem is we tend to celebrate success, but we never talk about the journey that leads us to get to that success. And that journey towards the success is filled with trials, setbacks, and failure. But the reality is it happens to everyone. We just never talk about it because people do not want to feel exposed or vulnerable. As a result, people become so afraid of it. But it's really part of the journey. And most of us, we just hide it inside and we end up dealing with it alone. With that said, I argue that failure is not the opposite of success. Failure is part of success. Sure. Failing hurts. It cuts right deep to your soul. I mean, even babies fail. When they start to learn how to walk, they fall so many times. But eventually, they learn how to walk. And it takes time for them to learn it. The fact that babies do not know what failure is, they just keep going. Actors get rejected from auditions. Athletes get cut from the team. Business owners get turned down from deals. And entrepreneurs get rejected all the time. Let's talk about it. How do you overcome failure? Number one, recognize it. I want you to recognize that you fail in this certain situation. There's a huge difference between recognizing and accepting. I just want you to recognize it. I do not want you to accept it. I do not want you to accept that the failure is you. You need to separate it from yourself. By recognizing it, yes, this situation has failed. Number two, distance yourself from that failure. There is nothing you can do to change the situation. This is very important because you have to let your emotions subside before you get to the third and fourth steps. While you distance yourself from it, talk to a friend, vent your heart out, walk outside, exercise, binge watch your favorite movies, play video games, forget about it, do something that makes you happy. Once those emotions go away, that's when you can be at the right state of mind to be more logical and go to step three. Figure out what causes the failure and learn from it. That's what engineers do. They just don't develop something and get it at first try. They do a lot of trial and errors until they get to it. Why did you fail the test? Were you overwhelmed? Did you study at the last minute? Did you procrastinate? Did you miss a lot of classes? Understand it and develop a better plan to be better at it. Number four, you need to bounce back and use that failure for your leverage. Try again and keep going. I mean, when you die in a video game, do you stop playing entirely? No, right? You keep trying. Most of the time, failure is presented to you to test your character or if you can really make it to the top. And if you decide to just stop there, then you literally just fail the test. Do not let failure define your future. Failure is already part of the past and let it be there. To all of you who is facing failure right now, I want you guys to do these four steps. 
and you need to get back up and try again. You have nothing to lose. You only have experiences to gain. Let me give you an example. Have you heard about Thomas Edison? Before he was able to create that minimum viable product, the light bulb, he failed 9,000 times until he figured it out. Henry Ford, his first company, was bankrupt. And now, Ford Motor Company is one of the most successful company in the automotive industry. They have all failed, but they keep going. And again, you do not have anything to lose. You just have experiences to gain. Failure gives you knowledge on what to do and what to be better at the next time. Failure builds your resiliency. It also gives you personal growth. And last but not the least, it adds value to your personal life. Because life is about a collection of experiences. That's what makes us of who we are today. And my friends, before I end this video, I would like to ask you a very important and thought-provoking question that I want you to answer for yourself. Which one is greater? Your desire to succeed or your fear to fail? Answer that. As I keep saying, here in the Coffee with C community, people who make it to the top are not the smartest. They are the ones who keep going. And to all the failures out there, let's share this video and help each other out. Thank you so much for your messages, your requests, your topics. Keep them coming. Comment down below because I create videos every week and your topic may be next. Until next time.